Hey, 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 everybody. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. I hope you all are doing well tonight. I don't see very many but people on, but that's all right. Guys, thanks for joining. All right. So I am Jason Wallace. I am a believer and follower of Jesus Christ. I am <clears throat> a prayer warrior, an intercessor, a Bible reader. I'm a devoted husband and father. I am a, uh, a citizen of heaven. I am a proud member of the Jesus Did It family. So if you guys get a chance, um, take a look at, uh, at the website, uh, jesusdidit.org, after this broadcast, and, um, and uh, take a look and see all the cool stuff that's there, plus all of the um, uh, broadcasters who broadcast under the Jesus Did It uh, hashtag, as well as um, uh, the affirmation sheet, which is where the red arrow is. That's the that's the um, um, the sheet that you can use to download, and it has all the affirmation. It has all the Bible verses and um, who you are in Jesus Christ. Sorry about that. So guys, um, that is a, a really cool resource to have. And uh, you can check out the website after uh, after the broadcast. All right, guys, you guys did it. You guys helped me get to uh, get reach my goal. I'm leaving very early in the morning on Saturday to uh, the missions trip to uh, Dominican Republic. So I do thank you guys for uh, for helping me get on that journey. Um, excuse me. Um, you guys are great, and awesome. I, I'm just uh, just ask for prayers. I ask for um, prayers for my family, prayers for me, for um, for safety, and uh, prayers for my you know protection for my family and stuff while I'm gone. So uh, guys, I do appreciate that, and uh, and I um, I thank you for uh, for being uh, family here and uh, supporting me. So let's see. Oh, we're just waiting a second <clears throat> for the screen to come around. So uh, let's give it a second, and we'll um, we'll let that come out around. If anybody has any, uh... so weird. I'm not seeing anybody on here. I see egg drop, and I see. That's it. Very interesting. All right, so uh, guys, we're going to get into reading here in a second. Our reading is um, it's uh, Joshua chapter five, and um, it'll get started here in a second. We're just letting it go around to the to the bottom there. But I suppose I can get started. All right, so. Um, the uh, Deuteron or I'm sorry, Joshua chapter five is um, here we go. Now when all the Amorite kings west of the Jordan and all the Can Canaanite kings along the coast heard how the Lord had dried up the Jordan before the Israelites until they crossed. Sorry about that. Something's going on there. Hey, Edwin, thanks for joining. Um, let me get back to that. Uh, until they had crossed over, the hearts melted in fear, and they no longer had the courage to face the Israelites. So this is the circumcision and Passover at Jil uh, Jilgal. At the time, the Lord said to, to Joshua, Make flint knives and circumcise the Israelites again. So Joshua made flint knives and circumcised the Israelites at uh, jo is that Jabeth Haraloth. Now, this is why he did so. All those who came out of Egypt, all the men of the military age, died in the wilderness on the way uh, after 
leaving Egypt. All the people that had came out had been, had been circumcised, but all the people born in the wilderness during the journey from Egypt had not. The Israelites had moved uh, about in the wilderness for 40 years until the men who were of military age, when they left Sorry, guys. I'm having a hard time tonight. <laughs> when they left, um... <coughs> I'm choking here. Hey, 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 guys. Thanks for joining. Ryan, thanks for joining. Uh, Andrea, thank you for joining. Thank you for all the invites and follows and shares. Alright, so let me get back into uh, into reading here now that I've missed my... Uh, <laughs> I'm just keeping up with the, with the words. So, um... We were somewhere in the round here about, um... Uh, all right, so yep, yeah. so um, they were military age when they left Egypt and had died, since they had not obeyed the Lord. For the Lord had sworn to them that they would not see the land they had solemnly promised their ancestors to give us, a land flowing with milk and honey. So he, he raised up their sons in their place. And these were the, the ones Joshua circumcised. They were still uncircumcised because they had not been circumcised on the way. And after the whole nation had been circumcised, they remained, uh, they remained where, their, where they uh, were in the camp until they were healed. And the Lord said to Joshua, Today I have rolled away the reproach of Egypt from you. So now that the place that we, uh, that has been called Jogel to this day. On the evening of the fourteenth day of the of the of the month, while camped at Jogel, on the plains of Jericho, and the Israelites celebrated their Passover. The day after Passover. Sorry. <clears throat> Sorry about that. The day after Passover, uh, that that very day, they ate some, some of the produce from the land, unleavened bread and roasted grain. The manna had stopped the day after they ate the food from the land. There was no longer any manna for the Israelites. But the year they ate uh, the produce of Canaan, the fall of Jericho. Now, when uh, Joshua was Joshua was near Jericho, he looked up and saw a man standing in front of him, with a drawn sword in his hand. Joshua went up to him and asked, "Are you for us or for our enemies?" Neither, he replied. But as commander of the army of the Lord, I have now come. Then uh, Joshua fell face down to the ground in reverence and asked him, What message does my Lord have for his servant? Wow. Uh, the commander of the Lord's army replied, Take off your sandals, for the place where you are standing is holy. And Joshua did so. Amen. Amen. Alright guys, I got all these bings and boops and bops and everything going on. Sorry about that. Um turn my volumes down something. Alright guys, um so that was a Bible reading for today. Sorry it was a little uh a little stopped here and there. A little have sneeze in between a couple times. Sorry about that. Alright guys, so uh thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining. Looks like we have lots of people come in tonight. You were hired tonight, and you start tomorrow morning. That is awesome news, man. That is awesome news. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, I'm just going back in the chat stream here, because I was looking down when I was reading. <coughs> Sorry about that. That's, uh, wow. That's good news, man. That is good news. Praise God. We got, um, got that job. That is sweet stuff. All right, guys. So every day we read from the Our Daily Bread. Our Daily Bread is a free.
publication. You might be able to find it at your church. Um, that's where I get mine from. And um, if you want, you can go to odb.org and uh, you can get a copy yourself. <clears throat> or you can come here every night and I'll read it for you. All right, guys, so here we go. Um, for Tuesday, June 20th, for reason to smile. This is written by Mart, um, yeah, Mart Dehan. In the workplace, words of encouragement matter. How employees talk to one another has a bearing on customer satisfaction, <clears throat> company profits, and co-worker appreciation. Studies of Studies show that members of the most effective work groups give one another six times more affirmation than disapproval and disagreement and, or sarcasm. Uh, least productive teams tend to use almost three negative comments for every helpful word. But Paul learned by experience that the value of the words in shaping relationships and outcomes. Before meeting Christ on the road to Damascus, his words and actions terrorized followers of Jesus. But by the time he wrote his letter to the, Th to the Thessalonians, he had become a great encourager because of God's work in his heart. Now by his own example, he urged the readers of or urged the readers to cheer one another on, while being careful to avoid flattery. He showed how to affirm others and reflect the Spirit of Christ. In the process, Paul reminded his readers where encouragement comes from. He saw that in trusting ourselves to God, who loved us enough to die for us, gives us reason to comfort, forgive, inspire, and lovingly challenge one another. Paul shows us that encouraging one another is a way of helping one another to get a taste of the patience and goodness of God. Amen. Says a um, little prayer here says, Father in heaven, please help us to give others a small taste of the mercy and kindness you are forever giving us, uh, forever offering us. Sorry. And the footnote says, What could be better than working to bring out the best in one another. That's some good stuff. That is some good stuff. All right, so uh, today's reading was from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 9 through 28, and the key verse was 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 11. Therefore, encourage one another and build up and build one and build <laughs> and build each other up. Just to just as, in fact, you are doing. That's some good stuff. That's some good reading today. I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, well, thank you for your opinion, uh, Sash, Sasha. Thank you for joining. I appreciate uh, your comments, and uh, when you are ready to broadcast about that, that statement, I will certainly come on your broadcast and listen to what you have to say. Um... All right, so uh, good news. We got a praise report for Ryan. That is awesome. That is awesome. Um, let's just believe that. Jesus, peace be upon him. Prophet, here we go. Well, uh, if that's your belief, that's fine. Um, I know otherwise, but uh, that's okay. Uh, my belief is in uh, Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, and. Uh, came here and died on a cross for my for my sins and uh, no other man uh, being uh, any other entity on the face of this earth has ever um, conquered death no single person no single thing has ever conquered death except for Jesus Christ so uh, for someone to uh, to say that they are only a prophet, um, they are uh, sadly mistaken. Um, huh, sadly mistaken. <clears throat> so uh, I will pray for you because um, as, uh, you're you're being you're being told you're telling something that's not true. So you know God is not a man. That is true, but He did come 
here in the form of Jesus Christ to show us all what what true love and pure holiness looks like um, and how to be that he was that example to show us that because us our people people on this earth um, are always uh, being sinful and um, we can never seem to get it right right we're always breaking uh, that uh, that that uh, trust between us and God you know God all he wanted to do was to uh, create a place where uh, where the people that he loved and so you know would have a place to be and uh, you know because of our free will because they gave us something to be um, you know be our own beings and uh, we used it against him you know so Becky thank you for joining um, seems we have a, 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 a friendly Muslim in our in our in our presence and we uh, thank you for for joining uh, thank you for the invites and follows and shares and all the hearts guys you guys are awesome and I appreciate every single one mama cat was in the house or is in the house she was. I don't see her uh, head over there anymore. Sorry, I guess my phone had died, so I had to uh, hop over to the the trusty old iPad, which runs slow and clunky. So um, hopefully, uh, that's why I'm looking over that way, just to make sure I don't catch something missing in the uh, egg drop. But that uh, seems to be working well tonight. And uh, nobody on Busker tonight, guys. I thank you for uh, for joining. Anybody who is catching the replays, uh, thank you for. Uh, for all that. Um, so guys, if you have any prayer requests or praise reports or anything like that, throw them in the chat stream and we'll, uh, we'll pray for you. We'll, uh, we'll praise, um, we'll, uh, pray to God for your Alfred Alcan, uh, I'm going to mess your name up. There was an Alcantara. Thank you for joining on Busker. And uh, we have uh, other broadcasts going, but um, uh, thank you for joining. So if you guys have any prayer requests or praise reports or anything like that, go ahead and throw them in the chat stream and we'll pray for you. All right, thank you for joining Babs14. Thank you for joining. Looks like our Sasha friend is still here in the house. I thank you for sticking around there. Um, so if I have any, uh, any prayer requests or praise reports, if I do want to uh, send a praise report out there, um, uh, our friend, um, Ryan, our friend Ryan on Periscope, uh, has, uh, Ryan Stack has gotten a job. And uh, he'll be starting tomorrow. So that's a that's an awesome praise to have. Uh, he's faithful and uh, was able to get the job that he uh, so desperately needs. So we uh, we thank uh, we thank you, Lord, for uh, for providing for providing for uh, for a person who is um, who is a believer and follower of you, Lord Jesus. We thank you. Sorry guys, if I seem a little wiped tonight, we a uh, bit of a spiritual warfare going on in my life uh, with a lot of things. But uh, but uh, I had to go uh, to the hospital today to see my um, God is good. Your Kentucky peeps are so loving and they're uh, lots of fun. Are you still in Kentucky, there, Liz? Yeah. So uh, um, today I went to the hospital to visit with my aunt and. Um, and uh, she's suffering from, um, they call it, what is it, encephalitis. And um, so she has um, swelling in the brain, which is caused by, hey, DJ Stanley, thank you for joining. Um, she's suffering from, from, uh, from that. So uh, she's just um, not herself. And when you look at her, she almost feels like there's a, a darkness around her. And, um, and, um, so I prayed for healing for her today, 
uh, while I was there at the at the hospital, and um, and I might go back tomorrow again, and um, just lift her up a little bit more. They're um, they're not quite sure exactly what's going on, so uh, my sister is trying to get uh, some answers from them, so that way we, uh, we can figure out what to do. The hospital she's in is um is um I don't know I guess it's a hard a hard thing to say you know people have their opinions about different places right but uh, this hospital in particular seems to not have a very good track record of uh of people walking out the door uh, all alive so um or, or you know not going through a lot of uh of uh, things before they leave so. Um, but that's just from experience, you know, um, my father went through the same, similar types of things, so, um, there, so I want to lift up, I want to lift her up in prayer today, uh, even though I've already prayed for her, and I prayed, prayed pretty hard for her, and as well as, uh, some of our other friends tonight, uh, in the Jesus Zeta group, we're, uh, we're, we're getting some, um, some things around us, and um, and we just want to lift everybody up. We want to lift everybody up. So, uh, I guess we'll just uh, we'll start digging in some prayer if nobody has any prayer requests. So, all right, um, Lord Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this time today. We thank you for um, for all of our brothers and sisters uh, of of faith to uh, to gather together here on the broadcast to be able to uh, spend some time. And to um, and to pray for each other, and uh, Lord, we just we thank you for the presence of of all these individuals here to come on the broadcast to uh, to help us all um, uh, help us all out, be uh, be uh, helping each other and just moving moving and walking through uh, you know circumstances in our lives. Lord, we uh, we pray for family members who have uh, who have. Um, uh, who we've lost, so Lord, we we pray for our um, our friend uh, Terry, especially um, over her situations with uh, with her family. We just uh, ask for uh, comfort and and peace and ease, and and um, let the grieving uh, grieving process happen and um, not be uh, not be long and and uh, and sharp, but let it be. Uh, let it be short and sweet, and let them understand that uh, that their their family member who has gone on um, to the uh, to be with to be with Jesus is um, is there, and it will be waiting for uh, for them uh, when their time comes. Or we pray for um, my aunt Sandy today, Lord. She's uh, suffering from lots of uh, lots of. Uh, Lots of problems with with her uh, her brain uh, being um, uh, swollen or something like that, and there's some some other things going on there that's making her not be uh, who she really is. And Lord, we uh, we just pray for her today. We uh, we command healing in her in her brain. We um, man, my th this phone decides to turn on, and all of a sudden it's like ding ding ding. <laughs> Sorry about that, um, Lord. We uh, we we just lift her up in prayer today, Lord. We we command healing in her brain. Uh, we command that sickness to, to be to be gone out of her out of her body, Lord. We uh, we lift her up to you, and um, and Lord, we just ask that you uh, um, allow for healing, just allow for healing to happen in her body, Lord. We uh, we thank you for uh, for. Uh, for everything that you've given us, Lord, you give, thank you for giving us your, your son to die on the cross, to take away all of our sins. Lord, we, uh, we can't even say thank you enough for that deed that you've done for us. Lord, we, um, yep, thank you, thank you. You have directions for the doctors, absolutely. So, Lord, we, uh, we lift up all of our friends in prayer today, Lord, and, um, we also ask that uh, all of our friends get some well-needed rest, 
get some comfort and, and, and some sleep and wake up rejuvenated tomorrow morning with, uh, with, a, with a fire and purpose for, uh, for totally uh, allowing, allowing us to be able to take, uh, take advantage of the time to be able to share that with friends and family and also to share the gospel with the people who may not know who Jesus Christ is and what he did for us. And we thank you in, the, in, uh, in your mighty son's name, Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. All right, guys. Um, any uh, any more prayer requests or anything? Throw them in the chat stream. We'll, uh, we'll pray for you. Going home July 1st. We'll be playing here in Kentucky until then. Awesome. Yeah, I fly home on uh, July 1st from Dominican. So we go... Um, we fly from from Buffalo Airport to uh, New York City to JFK, and then we then we fly to Dominican from there to, to Santo Domingo. And the flight back, I think it's a, I think it's the same path on the flight back. I have to double check and see. But yeah, it's uh. Thank you, thank you. Yep, I uh, I definitely need the. Need some prayers for that, um, especially with all that's going on back home here. You know, have uh, stuff going on, right? You know, we all have stuff going on. So uh, definitely lift up, uh, lift up in prayer today. Oh yeah, let's let's do that too. Lord Heavenly Father, we uh, we lift up uh, all of our married people today, Lord. We um. We ask that uh, we ask that you uh, reach into their into their hearts and their minds and and give them uh, the strength and courage to be able to um, to work through any differences that may be there to uh, to learn how to love each other again just as we did the day that we met Lord we um, we just ask that. Uh, that uh, the families be kept together, let relationships be rebound and rebuilt, and uh, we just ask this in your mighty son's name. Uh, as um, as there is uh, you know suffering and pain uh, in in people, we just ask that that be covered over. Yeah, restore relationships absolutely, and restore all relationships. Not only just marriages, but definitely all relationships. And we ask this in your mighty son's name. Amen. Going to see him this weekend? That's good. That's good. Yeah, just uh, just be uh, be ready and willing, right? Um, being comfort and knowing that uh, that at least you're you're trying, right? You're trying that uh, that it all that it that that it will go well, right? If uh, you keep a positive mindset on it and uh, pray about it, absolutely, it will go well, right? And um, it may be uh, maybe even better than what you expect. So you definitely can't uh, can't deny that. God is amazing, and uh, if it's time, it's time. And and you know, as he says in Ecclesiastes, right? There's time for everything. So, um, you know, it's a time for restoring and repairing as well. So, uh, definitely work towards that. Um, what else we got going on? Anybody else got anything going on? Kind of a slow night here, a Tuesday night, and that's all right. I have a feeling I know why, but that's, yeah, that's all right as well. Um... But I do appreciate you guys joining me and uh, sticking it out with me. I do thank you. Um, so I think what's going to happen is uh, if we got no more prayer requests or praise reports or anything else, anything else like that, uh, we're just going to go through and um, and uh, we're going to uh, go over the uh, super fans and um, just uh, kind of chat our way out a little bit and we'll be able to um 
All right, so let's see what we got. We're sitting at 3.3 million hearts. That is spectacular. You guys are awesome. Pumping those hearts. I do appreciate that. And um, over on um, Busker, I got to go and look and see what my uh, what my numbers look like over there. Um, have to go out and come back in again. That's not going to work so good. So, uh, actually going to go to bed soon. Much earlier than user. Me too. Me too, my friend. I'm going to head out soon here. But, uh, oh boy. We got some upsets going on here. Alright, so number 10. Number 10. Tinian. Oh, uh, Tinian. I don't know how to say her last name, but uh, number 9 is Lisa Hatterley. Haven't seen Lisa in a couple days. I'm wondering how she's doing. I'll have to reach out to her. Um, number eight is Sue. Number seven, Sherry Hammond. Number six, Craig Myers is on my super fan list. That's great. Number five, Elaine Davis. Number four, Israel Wendy. Number three, Liz, Desert Liz. Thank you for joining. And uh, being number three. Now, dun, 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 we have an upset. Rick Costa is number two. And uh, our friend, 1972 Princess, who I never say her name right. I think it's Anessi or Anissi. Uh, we, uh, we, <laughs> we, we thank you for being our number one super fan. And uh, I do appreciate you guys coming on here and, uh, and supporting me. I do appreciate that. And... Um, that is some good, good stuff. All right, guys. Uh, if anybody has any prayer requests or praise reports, please throw them in the chat stream. Uh, otherwise, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna we're gonna rock on out here. We're gonna. Let's go there. It's a long. It's a long. <laughs> as long as you're on the list, that's what you care about, right? Yeah, that's awesome. Hi, Anna. Anna, thank you for joining. All right, we're uh, we're almost at the end of our broadcast tonight. <laughs> Good save, right? <laughs> All right, <laughs> guys. I have some mail I have to send out. I am so like slow and behind with getting everything ready for missions trip and things going on in my in my life. I I have uh, I've uh, still got CDs I got to send out to people with the with their. I've got two uh, the two books from the. Um, from the mission strip fundraiser and uh, I gotta get those shipped out so hopefully I'm gonna do that tomorrow um, so definitely uh, if you're uh, if you're waiting on any of that stuff I am sorry <laughs> it's been crazy busy with work and getting ready for the trip and uh, just everything else in life in general you know uh, music lessons and getting stuff people ready and gymnastics and the whole nine yards it's just uh, been a busy crazy last couple weeks and um, so I thank you guys for joining thank you guys for being friends here I do appreciate every single one of you um, more than you probably know um, thank you for being here for me to uh, to help uh, to help let me decompress at the end of the night right to be able to read the Bible and be obedient in that manner and to uh, be able to uh, share little bits of my life with you and little bits of your life with me. I, uh, I thank you guys for that. Um, all the encouragement and testimony helps helps others, you know, and helps me um, to be able to, uh, to improve our, our lives, right? And to uh, help each other be, uh, be more like Jesus. So I'm, uh, I'm all for that. So guys, uh, thank you for joining me. I appreciate every single one of you. And uh, just know that I love you. Know that Jesus loves you. Know that every single member of the Jesus Did It family loves you. And um, take a look at the website there, uh, jesusdidit.org. And uh, you'll find other broadcasters there who are more than willing and able to be able to uh, to minister to you. And you might find others that, that um, will fit uh, more of your style of, of worship or your style of uh, readings or or um, or you might pick up some more information from other people about how things are you know 
Hey, Oscar, thanks for joining. Call uh, Kelly Q, thank you for joining. So, um, yeah, that's definitely uh, thank you for uh, for being here. All right, guys. Um, if there's no more prayer requests, we're gonna we're gonna rock this on out, and uh, we will see you. Uh, shalom, shalom. All right, guys. Uh, we are at uh, time of shutting down. So, guys, thank you for joining me on my journey from Genesis to Revelation, one chapter at a time. Um, thank you for joining us. Thank you for spending your time with me with the devotional, and um, also uh, allow me to be able to pray for you and and uh, for you guys to be able to pray for me. I do thank you. Yep, I'm I'm getting ready to close. Absolutely. Thank you, eleven uh, resin uh, snapping a, a screenshot. Peace be with you. That's correct. All right. So um, we'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be Wednesday. Um, so I might be on a little bit earlier. Depends on if Rick's going to be late. I might go on a little earlier. We'll see. Um, so uh, our ministry is uh, our children's ministry is shut down for the for the summer. So um, I'll be uh, home on Wednesday evenings. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I won't be early. I've got a date night tomorrow. So, uh, definitely uh, a well-needed date night. So uh, that's up with my wife. So that's what we're gonna that's what we're gonna do. So scratch that. I'll probably be on the normal time. Yeah, I'm going. We're gonna enjoy. We're gonna enjoy each other a little bit. So guys, uh, thank you for uh, for being here. I love you guys. And just remember, uh, get some good rest and uh, be blessed. And we'll see you tomorrow. Have a nice night.